For more now on this, uh, let's speak to Gauteng Transport MEC Jacob Mamabolu, who joins me now live via Skype. MEC, good afternoon to you. Thank you so much for joining us here on the SABC News channel. Good afternoon to you and to all the viewers, and thanks very much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for coming through. So let's just get your reaction to the shutdown by Santaco. Uh, you had uh, the minister appealing to the council to relook its decision, and uh, yourself yesterday during that particular media briefing, you did emphasize the fact that uh, you should uh, perhaps go back to the engagements to see how best to resolve the matter, but th that didn't happen. Well, uh, for us, the... The most important issue about the matters that have been raised by Satago is that um, these issues are within the purview of the minister. In other words, national government led by the minister is engaging with the national leadership of Santago and that of the National Taxi Alliance. And uh, for us as a province and of course with other MECs, when we had discussions with the minister yesterday, we reaffirmed our confidence in the fact that the um, minister will, uh, together with the national leadership of the taxi industry, find an amicable solution uh, to this problem. And it is for that reason that we believe that uh, the strike shouldn't have uh, came in when negotiations and the conversations are taking place because the door of government remain open the national leadership of uh, santiago and the national taxi alliance have not yet declared that the negotiations have failed or have collapsed and therefore this in our view is a strike that uh, in terms of its timing with respect to the negotiations and timing with respect to the COVID period in which we are, the period of COVID-19, we shouldn't have had this. So it is really regrettable and unfortunate that um, commuters in our province uh, had to be targeted and be used as an outlet and essentially be the grass that gets severely affected by a matter that is Firstly, still under negotiations. Secondly, there's a meeting tomorrow, and we could have given that a chance. Thirdly, the national associations are dealing with the issues. So for a province to have really came out this early uh, and, and, and under these conditions and this period, uh, really for us shouldn't have happened. And uh, we still remain confident that, uh, you know, um, good outcomes will uh, find expression tomorrow and if not negotiations will forever remain the best platforms to find a amicable way forward and a better solution on matters of this nature that meeting scheduled for tomorrow MEC but we've heard the minister he was uh, very clear yesterday in saying that he's consulted with treasury and the 1.135 billion rent that's all uh, that the government can offer to the taxi industry what then happens as you said yesterday you've said it again just now that your worry is uh, uh, commuters being left stranded a whole lot of them couldn't get to work they couldn't get to school even this morning so what's the way forward in terms of constructive engagements from the perspective of the province of Houting. Yes, no, let me just start by saying the position that Minister raised was not in itself uh, shutting down negotiations. It was simply stating what is the fact at the particular moment. But uh, there, are, there are negotiations tomorrow. The taxi industry is going into those negotiations tomorrow. So stating bottom lines and point of departures does not in itself signal that there can be discussions and engagement. So let's leave it to the meeting tomorrow. It's only when the national leaders come out that that all of us can be able to get our cue from that. With respect to the way forward in our province, we have came out of the Provincial Taxi Summit last year, uh, 24th, 25th July. We have worked very well with the taxi industry since then. We are quite confident that um, 
the path that we are following, the interaction, the conversations, the discussions we are having on building the new taxi industry, on modernizing it, transforming it, and also making sure that it operates on business principles, ending violence. We have set up a commission. There are there's work we are doing together to intervene in different situations. So in our province, I'm quite sure that um, the ground we have traversed, the, the path we are walking, uh, should be able to, we should be able to work on that. Um, the only challenge that I hope the taxi industry will be able to come out of and move with us is uh, the strike today because it was only Santago. NTA did not have a strike. We just saw that that unity did not suffer because then it will mean uh, the taxi industry itself, I could see commuters are very upset with the taxi industry. Um, unity might suffer on the other hand. Uh, so it means we have a reality that this could end up being a lose-lose situation for everybody. But uh, as a province, we remain firmly committed to the journey, the ground we have traversed to modernize, transform, change the tax industry. Actually, uh, we have done also very good work together to fight COVID-19. Since Alert Level 5 started, we have done excellent work uh, going to the taxi ranks, uh, making sure that we protect commuters. So what has happened today, really, um, uh, in my view, shouldn't have happened because these are matters that happen at national, but we will still engage with the tax industry in the province, particularly Santiago, to understand how come that they couldn't wait for the national leadership to declare a particular attitude towards the negotiations? Why did they preempt a meeting with minister tomorrow by going on a show? What if that meeting tomorrow make good progress and everybody come being happy? So to that extent, I think it's a matter we we'll want the tax industry in the province to explain to us, but we will still make sure that uh, we resolve the historic problems and challenges that continue to affect the taxi industry on its path and journey mm. to be one of the best models for black economic empowerment. All right. That task, we will put it aside, we will continue with. All right, very quickly now, MEC, you keep referring to that <laughs> meeting that's scheduled between the taxi associations and the minister tomorrow. Uh, do you think that the minister may come back with a different answer? I mean, we, we, we saw what he had to say yesterday during that media briefing that what has been put on the table is exactly that. Nothing will change. The 1.135 billion rand stays. That's all that the government can afford in terms of assisting the taxi industry. So why do you keep referring back to that meeting? Are you convinced that uh, we may get something out of of that particular meeting? Yes, let me um, <clears throat> say that um, the meeting of tomorrow remains an important meeting. And what makes it important is not, and it shouldn't be judged or evaluated on a single one item of uh, how many rents and cents up I don't think that's how we should evaluate the meeting of this nature. The meeting can still lay a very good basis where all other aspects that have a bearing on this issue, there could be a firm ground on which to move forward. So I'll say that let's not turn tomorrow's meeting into rents and cents. Of course, that is one of the issues, but the meeting could build a way forward. Let's say, for example, the issue of subsidy for the taxi industry. The issue of um, uh, continuing to um, modernize and support the taxi industry on other areas. So the, 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 there are there are matters that are related to this issue, and I'm really wary and I'll advise against just reducing it narrowly to how much uh, has has been put on the table. What is the amount in rents and cents? So it shouldn't be a purely narrow money issue. It's a meeting to resolve the complexities and difficulties of the tax industry, the impact on COVID-19. Is there a way we can strategically move forward? And that shouldn't be narrowly uh, a money issue. I think that will be a, a set moment if the meeting was just to be looked at. So how much 
I think let's look at will the parties find each other to move forward mm -hmm. and still continue to have dialogue and conversations on this issue and other related issues and more strategic issues moving forward. All right, but we know that the gist of today's shutdown is totally around that government relief package. MEC, we'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for coming through. Jacob Mamabolo is Gauteng MEC for Transport, giving reaction to today's Santaco's total shutdown. Moving along.